Hi, my name's Amanda Dawson. I'm the head teacher of Mellors Primary School. The book that I've chosen to read this evening is The Great Green Forest by Paul Geraghty. And I think the reason that I love this book so much is because it tackles climate change or the climate crisis, as we call it. It's a story about the destruction of the rainforest and the impact that that would have on animals. And I think it's really important that we all take on this responsibility for looking after our world. The rainforests are the lungs of the earth and without them we won't have any we won't have oxygen which means that life on earth would end so this is a really important issue the great green forest by paul Geraghty. high up in the great green forest the sun began to shine way down in the deep dark shadows a tree mouse was curling up to sleep great great whoop whoop chirped the frogs the sounds were screechy, the sounds were sharp. Whoop boo, whoop boo, creech, creech. Stop that noise, yelled the tree mouse, I'm trying to sleep. But all she heard was the zee, 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 zee of a cicada somewhere outside. Zee, 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 zee. Then the hmm of a hummingbird. Hmm over here and hmm over there. Stop that noise, yelled the tree mouse. I'm trying to sleep. Then kiao, kitty, 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 came the calls from the forest crown. Toucans pierced the curtain of green with a cue, kitty, kitty, kitty. Stop that noise, yelled the tree mouse, I'm trying to sleep. But the forest was alive with songs and sounds. Yag, screecher, screecher, squawked a macaw. Yag, squaw, squaw, squawked another. Stop that noise, yelled the tree mouse, I am trying to sleep. But her voice was drowned by the monkeys that bickered in the branches. Whooped one, yeek, yeek, screamed the others. Stop that noise, yelled the tree mouse. I'm trying to sleep. And suddenly the forest fell silent and all she could hear was the echo of her own voice. Animals clung in silence, not daring to move or make a sound. Even the cats that ruled the forest now cowered in the quiet. Ah, that's better, thought the tree mouse. But it wasn't. She couldn't sleep. The silence grew worse than any noise until finally she cried out, please, please make some noise, I'm trying to sleep. She waited and then there was a noise. She heard a distant and then a cracker, the cracker shung that shook her to the ground. A tree had fallen and a gaping hole was left in the crown of the great green forest. Cracker, the cracker shung. Another tree came down. Brrrm, an ugly sound that made the ground shudder and the tree mouse knew that her tree would be next. She looked up at her home and then she turned to the terrible sound and at the top of her voice she yelled, Stop that noise! But that noise didn't stop. Brrrm, it drew closer. Brrrm, to the earth thundered. Brrrm, it grew louder. Brrrm, to the earth shook. But the tree mouse stood firm. And there she is. Then something made the driver stop. And when he stopped, he felt the silence. He saw the broken trees and he saw the fallen nests and he sensed ang angry eyes watching him. So he sat and he thought. He stayed there and thought till the sun went down and when it was dark, he went away. And he never came back. Now, way up in the great green forest, the trees are growing again and some of them are, are growing around the digger. And deep, deep down in the dark shadows, 
A tree mouse curls up and closes her eyes. She listens to the songs and sounds of the forest, which tell her that, for now, she can sleep in peace. And I think that's really important, that little bit there, for now. Because those diggers will be back and her home and all of the homes of the animals around her will be destroyed unless we do something to stop it. I hope you enjoyed the story. Good night.